There he is. How do you make a story that was already as good as it gets get even better? Welcome to America. Hold tight and I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> in case you missed our story last week, Nguyen Hong Mi and Dan Cherry are long lost enemies. This is a History Channel recreation of their epic dogfight. Cherry was piloting the American F-4. Hong Mi was flying the North Vietnamese MiG until Cherry blew it out from under him. I got him, I got him. As you might imagine, it's hard to make up after that kind of fight. But a few years ago, the two men were reunited on a Vietnamese TV show. Jerry Springer would have been sorely disappointed. He had a very firm handshake, and he says, welcome to my country. I'm glad to see that you're in good health, and I hope that we can be friends. And those weren't just words. After the show, Hong Mi invited Dan back to his home. Dan held his grandson, and the war went away. <laughs> Today, the men are best friends. Just a few weeks ago, Hong Mi came to visit Dan at his home in Bowling Green, Kentucky. The trip was mostly pleasure, but the men hoped it would also serve a more serious purpose. In fact, our first story ended with that very message. We hope that the fact that we've been able to reconcile our differences might somehow help Vietnam veterans on both sides. Although I didn't know it at the time of our interview, Dan and Hong Mi actually had one particular veteran in mind, someone they thought they could especially help. For the last 37 years, John Stiles has been trying to forget Vietnam. He says his case of photos is hidden up here for a reason. It brings back uncomfortable memories. In January of 72, John was flying reconnaissance missions when his plane was shot down. He always thought it was ground flak that got him, but Hong Mi had evidence to the contrary. Most notably, that round red medal. That means that he had shot somebody down. And that was you. Yeah. Understandably, John wasn't sure he wanted to meet Hong Mi. He was nervous, he wouldn't know what to say. Although in the end, he didn't have to say anything. The two men just looked at each other until finally, once again, the war went away. It's this huge release of weight I don't have to carry around anymore. I mean, it's gone. And it was wonderful. It was just absolutely wonderful. So. <laughs> Over the next few hours, they talked about planes, toasted their grandchildren, and showed war for what it often is, a disagreement between friends who just haven't had a chance to meet. Steve Hartman. CBS News, New York.